Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to do this best and worst of the YouTube community tag. But first, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll go ahead and subscribe and click that little bell to be notified of my future videos and give me a thumbs up, that would help as well. Now, I've actually seen this tag on several different YouTubers channels. And the first one I saw, I believe, was Marnie Goldberg. Marnie is blonde and beautiful and she's probably 20 years younger than I am. I have two boys, but if I had a girl, it would be Marnie. At least if I could choose my girl, it would be Marnie. She is bright and talented and she's great with makeup and she has this wonderful family, great husband, great kids, great dogs. I just get a lot of joy watching her videos. And someone else who did this tag is L is for Living. And for those of you who have not seen her channel yet, she is fabulous. She is this beautiful blonde and she's a counselor by profession. And she does these Sunday morning chats about all things to do with being our age and being women. And no holds are barred during those chats. She will talk about anything, including sex, it is some wonderful discussion, and if you haven't visited her channel yet, I hope you'll go. Kathy A. Beauty is another one who did this tag, and she is absolutely fabulous. She's another mature beauty YouTuber. She really goes in depth in something called docutorials, and what those are is she'll take a makeup brand, and through pictures and history and all of this information, she will kind of show you the history of that brand and how it got its name and what it's known for. Very, very fascinating. I don't see how she has the time to do those videos, but they are wonderful. And last but not least is Susan of Little Poet. In fact, she is a little poet, just as the name of her channel implies. When you go to her videos, usually they start out with some poetry that she's written, and she does these video montages, oftentimes of weather and leaves and snow. It's absolutely just a wonderful experience watching her videos. You can't come away from her videos not feeling touched. Okay, let's get down to this, and I'll be looking at my cell phone to get the list of questions. First, what are your favorite videos to watch? That's easy. I love tutorials because I learn so much and I'm able to pass that information on to you. The second question, what are your favorite videos to film? That's also easy. I absolutely love the monthly favorites videos because to me it's kind of like all month long I'm using products and trying to find out what my favorites are and I love sharing my products with you and in the comments you share your favorites with me and it's kind of this back and forth conversation that's wonderful. Question three, what are your least favorite videos to watch? And that's easy for me too. I know everybody likes vlogs except me. I really don't like them that well. I work full time and then I do YouTube and then I like to have some time left over for Alan and the kids. So my time is important to me. And when I watch YouTube videos, I love to be entertained. But more than that, I really like to learn things. And that's why I really prefer the more tutorial, get ready with me type videos over the vlogs. Question four, what is your favorite part of the beauty community? Well, that's easy too. It is all of you. I just can't believe how having a YouTube channel has filled up my life and all of you do that for me and I really so much appreciate it. I love putting out a video and in a couple of hours I start to see the comments coming back in and I'm getting to know many of you and I see your pictures and I recognize you and I kind of am getting to know details about your life like if you're going through some health challenges or you've got some issues with your kids or some joys with your kids. I always kind of think about you when you're not around and wonder what's going on in your lives. And of course I also like dealing with the other YouTubers in the 50 plus community. We are a nice community here. We're supportive. I go to their channels and make comments. They come to my channels and make comments. We'll email each other and occasionally call each other. It's really a close-knit community here and I really like that as well. And question five, what is your least favorite part of the beauty community? I think that is the idea that we're somehow in competition with each other. And I don't think many of the women here feel that way. And I sure don't. I feel like if we're in competition, it's only with ourselves to try to do better videos than we did the last week or whatever. I really like it when we all come together to support each other and applaud each other's efforts. And all together, we all put out different content. And I just like the idea that we're one big happy community all in this together. Question six, what motivated you to start your channel? Well, actually a couple things. The main thing though was that when I passed 50, I was still looking pretty good, but around 55, I started looking in the mirror and looking kind of bedraggled and looking a lot older. And all of a sudden the things that had been working for me very well in terms of makeup and skincare for maybe 15 or 20 years, all of a sudden stopped working. I saw my face starting to sag and my makeup wasn't looking right. So I started looking around on the internet. I was searching for 
anti-aging skincare and I was also searching for younger looking makeup because I couldn't figure out why my makeup wasn't working but it was not working. So that of course ended up bringing me to YouTube and I started learning from the mature YouTubers here, learning to improve my skincare and my makeup and I started to see positive results over about a year and it was one of these very quiet ones. I never made comments. I just would go watch the videos. I don't know. I was kind of nervous and I didn't really know what subscribing meant and I didn't really want to be noticed so I kind of went quietly around and looked at all these channels. So I think it was kind of a surprise when I started my YouTube channel, but the main reason I started it was because I was learning from the other YouTubers and I really wanted to share everything I was learning with you all out there. Also, I thought there was a need for a big community of women to come together and realize that in this second half, this was our chance to have a great finale in life, to use everything we'd learned in our first half, all the mistakes we'd made and all of that stuff to really make some new decisions about our second half and to realize that we can still have dreams, we can still have goals. We can't let society tell us we are less than because we're not less than. We have a lot of wisdom to share and I really wanted the power of the more mature woman to come through and become a force in our society. And I know that sounds kind of highfalutin, but really that's what I want. And then one other little thing, you know how sometimes you'll see at McDonald's as you're traveling across the country, you'll see a little group of men sitting here drinking coffee or a group of women at this other McDonald's and I kind of want my channel to be like that. That no matter if you have makeup on, no makeup on, you got your sweats on, you're dressed for work, it doesn't matter, that we all come together and have this wonderfully supportive community as we get older. Question number seven, who most inspires you on YouTube? Oh, there are so many women who inspire me here, but I will say in the very first, the people that most inspired me were Angie of Hot and Flashy, because she gave me hope. She was roughly my age, maybe a little bit younger, but she was using Retin-A and great skincare and she was really improving things and I absolutely loved her channel, I still do. I also love Emily Noel 83 She was one of the first ones that I found here. She's younger than I am by about 20 years. She's got two young, beautiful little daughters. She's got this beautiful husband, this beautiful life, and she is a savant about makeup. She knows everything about makeup and she has such integrity and she just tells you like it is and you can really trust her recommendations. And also she's just so darn comfortable that many nights I would go to sleep with Emily Noel on my cell phone, you know, on my chest because she is just that kind of comfortable, warm, wonderful personality. Number eight, what is the number one thing you would change about the YouTube beauty community? I've already mentioned it, but basically a lot less competition and a lot more supporting each other and loving each other. I think we all do, but that would be great. Question nine, what is the number one advice you have for starting a channel? And that's very easy as well. I would say just do it. If you're thinking about it, dreaming about it, don't wait till next year. Don't wait till you have a whole list of videos you want to do. Everybody has a cell phone camera these days. Get your cell phone camera, get in front of your bright light kitchen window because that's the best light ever. I looked the best I ever looked on my channel when I was doing these videos in my kitchen in front of the kitchen window light. You might order a little Amazon tripod for your cell phone. The first few videos I propped up my cell phone on books, which was not the best way to start. But I would say just go ahead and do it. Question 10, what do you love about YouTube as a whole? Well, I love everything about YouTube. It has kind of given me a life. I have to admit that after my kids left home, I went through about 10 years of empty nest. I don't know what it was, if I thought they'd be young forever, but I guess I never thought they'd leave. I had this angst in my heart, this emptiness in my heart that just wouldn't really leave. And then all of a sudden I started my YouTube channel and I have so much in my life now, it's wonderful. I have all of you, I have the other female YouTubers. I love making the videos. I even love editing the videos. And it's funny because long ago I met my husband in TV and he was an editor and people now say, you edit your own videos and I'm proud to say that I do. I absolutely love everything about the YouTube experience. It's phenomenal. Well, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And so I will choose one of these Life Loves You cards from Louise Hay. We'll see what God has in store for us today. Let's see, okay. Everything is working out for my highest good. Everything is working out for my highest good. Trust that in challenging times, the universe only wants what's best for you. I absolutely love this card and I really do think that everything in life works out for our highest good. I totally believe this. If you've been on my channel for a while, you've heard me say that God does not give bad gifts and people will sometimes say, well, what about war or what about illness or that kind of thing? And I don't think those things are exactly from God because I don't think God causes those things. And I think he allows us to go through those things because it helps us learn and that really everything that happens in life does happen for our good 
And I think that's just a really positive way to look at things. I've also heard something recently which I really like, which is everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. Because what that means is that even when we do go through challenging times like this card talks about, everything is perfect. There is a reason for that. And number one, that gives us power to believe that everything happens for our good. And number two, that gets us unstuck and helps us realize that we do have power over that situation. There are things we can learn, things we can do, ways we can grow. I hope as you go through your day, you'll realize that everything is working out for your highest good today, tomorrow, and all through your second half. Take care. See you next time.